Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and um, I got the idea that maybe I maybe I could see if Chat GPT can grade written assignments. Um, I'm kind of nervous about this one because I'm not quite sure if I want this to work. <laughs> um, but let's give it a shot. Uh, so I found this basic essay rubric online for you know. A standard rubric for writing an essay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy. Actually, I'll leave that alone for now. I have three examples of essays. I have a pretty great essay. This is an award-winning essay. Um, this is a mid-level essay, just a standard basic. I just went on Google and said, hey, give me a basic standard high school personal essay. Um, there's some some grammar errors here, some stuff like that. I read through the essay. It's pretty middling. I'd probably give it maybe a, a low B, high C maybe. And then we have a bad essay. Uh, this one is just not great. Um, probably a D for this one, depending on the student, depending on, you know, other stuff. It, using words like grody, um, you know, it's just not great. Um, so I figured I would kind of check chat GPT's ability to determine um, how these essays match up with this rubric. So grade this essay. Uh, let's try the, the great one first. Let's we'll copy and paste. Hello. Um, we'll just see if it can grade it. This essay is well, this essay is well written presents a personal perspective on the experience of racism. The writer effectively conveys the impact of racism in their daily life in various forms. It can take the micro from microaggressions in the classroom, blah, blah, blah. This is great. Um, so that would be nice feedback that you can give to the student. Um, let's try to match it up with this rubric and see if we can make this work. Uh, now, grade that essay based on this rubric. And the formatting is weird, but we'll see if it can make sense of it. Oh my gosh. The essay has a clear, well-focused topic, and the main ideas are well-supported by detailed and accurate information. So, focus in details. Um, the introduction is inviting and provides an overview of the paper, and the conclusion is strong. So, organization. The essay demonstrates a writer's extensive knowledge of the experience. So I could. Uh, that is great. Um, so that worked. So congratulations on your A paper. Let's try this mid-level essay to see what we come up with. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. Um, use. Oh, hello. Use that rubric to grade this paper. A C, that was my prediction. The essay has a clear topic, but the main ideas are not well supported by detailed information. The introduction states the main topic and provides an overview of the paper, but there is no conclusion. The essay lacks evidence of the writer's extensive knowledge or experience with the topic. And the word choice is limited with a reliance on jargon and cliches. The sentence structure is well constructed, but the grammar and mechanics contain several errors that interfere with understanding. There's also a spelling error in the essay. <sighs> okay, well, that's kind of what I predicted. Let's see how well it does with the bad essay. A D. The essay has a clear but unfocused topic and the main ideas were not well supported by the detailed information. There's no introduction or conclusion and the essay lacks evidence of the writer's extensive knowledge or experience with the topic. The word choice is limited and the writing contains numerous errors in grammar, mechanics, and spelling that interfere with understanding. The essay is also disorganized and frequently veers off topic. Um, wow. Uh, right. Let's see. Write feedback for that student. Um, 
but make it nice. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. It's clear that you have a strong passion for chocolate and the many different ways it can be enjoyed. While your enthusiasm is appreciated, it would be helpful to focus your writing on a specific topic and provide more detailed information to support your ideas. Paying attention to grammar, mechanics, and spelling can also help your writing to be more clear and easy to understand. Keep up the good work and try to focus on organizing your thoughts and presenting them in a clear and concise manner. You guys, that is some pretty good feedback. I mean, you're giving them exactly what they need to hear and they can see on the rubric what they've missed, but you're, but, but it's positive. I don't feel like I was just attacked. I feel like maybe I'm on the right track. If I try again, I might do better. How is this thing better? at being kind and diplomatic than a lot of people I know, to be honest with you. This is insane. Um, give me some suggestions on how to make that paper better. Make it detailed. Oh, I spelled detailed wrong. Here, if you, if you, okay, choose a specific focus topic. The essay currently touches on a number of different, this is detailed feedback on how to make it better for next time. Think about how long this would take for you to write all of this. Really critical feedback for your students. Personally. It would take quite a while. Like, literally, I could take, I could use this to grade on the rubric. I could pop this onto the top of an email, pop this into the bottom of an email, uh, write a short statement encouraging a student to try again and let them know I'm available to help. It's great to see that you're trying to improve your writing skills. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate improvement. Writing is a skill that takes time to practice and develop. Remember that it's okay to make mistakes and that asking for help is normal and important part of the learning process. If you ever need help or have questions, I'm here to support you and provide guidance. Keep working hard and don't be afraid to try again. I know you have the potential to succeed. Guys, I want to rewrite this paper for that teacher. This teacher makes me want to try again. This chatbot believes in me, you guys, and it wants me to be better. This is the kind of feedback we should be giving our students. And, and honestly, I'll just be honest with you. The reason I don't give this kind of detailed feedback is just because I don't have time. I know what I want to say. I just don't have time to generate the information. But this... <sighs> Guys. What is going on? I mean... This is fantastic. I, I'm Okay, I'm going to cut this video here just because, I mean... I'm kind of blown away with how good this is. I, I did not expect this to work as well as it did. And I'm starting to kind of like feel bad <laughs> for not giving this kind of feedback to my students previously. I'm kind of encouraged by this, honestly. Um. All right. Well, definitely, I don't know, give this a shot and let me know what you come up with. All right. Thanks for uh, paying attention, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.